Right. Once again, welcome to every one of us. Um, it's been, this is day three um, of our data challenge. And we said the essence of doing this is so that we'll, like Mr. Tolu said, compound interest so that over time we'll look back and we'll say, yes, we have come thus far. And we've, we, we said we'll look at everything data. Uh, do data daily challenge. That DOO is not a mistake. Um, DOO, when I looked it up, means a director of uh, operations. So let's direct the operations of data here, even if it's just for that um, short short time. So so far we have we have, we have looked at how to how to understand our data when we are looking at it what to look out for, um, how to pick the very important uh, aspects of the data and how to start thinking along what and what is possible, you know, with that data. And we started to look at uh, data types yesterday where we discussed around uh, I, uh, anything ID that looks like number is not actually number because uh, it's not like your everyday one, two, three that you can add. It's not a, a number that you, you can aggregate. Maybe sum it up or perform a mathematical calculation on it. You can only count such numbers. And that's why it's been put as text, you know? Um, and we have our te uh, everyday text that we know. Uh, that's the fruit name, the anything that's got to text in it, that's text. And we've got um, currency or number, you know, and so on and so forth. So as we keep moving on, we'll see more around data types. And we say it's really important to set whatever tool you are using to recognize your data, uh, your data type, so that when it gets to the point of reporting, it doesn't throw up. So let dates be seen as dates. Um, and where we do that is um, on here, under, under home. This is where we change our data. Um, so this, if I if yeah. I if I click just on that, you see it's changed it to text there for me. Uh, if if I clicked on here, well, it says general. I can decide to leave it as general. It doesn't it doesn't affect this particular type of data, or if I want to, I can decide to say, okay, let's let's have it as text, why not? And if what you are looking for is not on, on the list here, there is that part where uh, you can scroll down actually, or you can look for more. So if we open that, we, we see more types, accounting, currency, number. If you want your number to have uh, decimal places, how many decimal places you can set it, if it's something that you need uh, a thousand separator so that uh, it, it's easily readable, you can do that here as well, percentage time um, and so on and, and custom as well, where you can customize whatever it is, I believe will get to this point at some point. So that is that around data types. Then we need to think around how data is, is collected. How is data collected? Most of the ones we'll be using here are just ones that are sitting in the C drive, you know. But in the workplace, data can be collected in different ways. Uh, who can tell me how do you collect data at your workplace? What methods do you use to gather data where you work or that you know? We said it's going to be an interactive class so that it's not just one sided. So, can you can use, yeah, can use surveys. That's right. That was what mm -hmm. you did yesterday on the platform. Yes, I, yes. I employed my data analysis skills. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's right. You were yeah. collecting data on, okay, if, you're, if your interest is in data analysis or being a data analyst, uh, put, drop five in the chat. So, th that's one mm -hmm. way of getting data of people, you know. Any other method that you know? Um, we could get it from external sources as well, from different organizations, 
you know, like National Office of Statistics, all those places. Yes. So yeah. from the web, yes, we from can get it from the web. You know, we can get it from uh, just a word of mouth. We can get it from databases. That is the one that's common to big organizations or, or businesses. They will have different de databases where you, you are all connected to and you can pull you know, different types of data from. Uh, at my place, we, we, we use Oracle Fusion. Uh, some people use um, Salesforce to, to collect their to gather data, you know. So, um, so a lot a lot of uh, sources that you can get it from. But like I said, it's mostly going to be uh, folders and files within the, within the laptop that will, that will really concern us more. And maybe from the web to when, when we get to that point. Um, and if we then get open to other sources, yes, we'll, we'll remember to remind, to remind um, ourselves. Then we talked about, we will talk about how to clean our data. It is important for data to be very clean, very, very clean when you're looking to, to work with it. What does that mean? It means that you don't have empty spaces. So you ask questions around, what should I be doing with my null values? Say, for example, everything here has got is filled up except for this bit. It's just blank. So it wouldn't be right for me to go on trying to report without looking for what should actually be um, in there. You know, so why is it blank? Are we missing something? Because if I go on to report on it, that could be giving us a false uh, sense of what we should be looking at in the end. So it's really very important that we, we know how to, how to clean our data. And we're going to be doing a lot, a lot of it, a lot of data cleaning. But I've got an exercise that I threw in the, in the, uh, in the platform yesterday or on the platform uh, yesterday about, so let's say you got to work and you were presented with uh, not Excel as you are used to. So you were told, uh, ah, Debbie, very quickly, uh, help me get this done. I, I don't have time to get this for you on, on a spreadsheet. It's in PDF and I need you to, to work on it, to analyze it. What would you do? You know, how would you, how would you convert without, you know, calling someone to pay them to do it? How would you convert PDF file David, to Excel so that you can then be able to yes, analyze it. Yes. Have we got anyone here who has who has done that sort of conversion yes. before? Yes. Um, Actually, there are, no, there are quite the... some. There are a lot of uh, applications uh -huh. right now that can convert uh, PDF oh, files, oh, PDF files to Word, PDF files to uh, you know JPEG. You know there, there, there are these conversion tools that you can use. The apps, right. yeah. Right. So I think I I I would use that definitely. Right, that's one very good suggestion. But say you don't you don't have any of those tools to easily download, and this has become a matter of urgency. Is there a way we can run around this? Let me open that uh, the PDF. I thought I had it open. The PDF file that I I intended to use. Um, has anyone got it? Uh, I put it in the in the chat yesterday. It is this one, Data Sample US. Yeah. So we've got this, and we need we need it to not be in PDF because we can't report on it in PDF. What? How can we work around this? And we can't tell our the, the boss that uh, sorry that wasn't part of what I learned. We've got to problem solve. Okay, so very quickly, think, this is, yeah, go on. No, I was going to say that some um, on some of those um, software PDF readers, you can be able to copy, mm. copy drag your mouse on it and copy some copy of them and on paste. copy, copy yes. and paste on your Excel. 
on your ears. Oh, yeah. Okay. So let's let's try and see if if we can. I mean, it's always have to, good to have a go. Um, I don't have my mouse here, but we'll we'll make it work. So let's say I've copied everything. So I'm Control C. I pressed Control C, and I come to my Excel. I just um, let's open a new page here. I open a new page, and um, and I Control V that to paste. Okay, this is what I've got. Hmm, that's not really looking like what I what I want. That has not done done any justice to anything for me at all. Okay, so. Here is something I found very quickly that we can do. When I was taught this, it used to be that you open a Word document, right? Open a Word document, and that worked at the time. I don't know what update has been done to Word documents. And then open a Word document and try to bring that PDF, open it in it. But this is what I got when I tried to do what was doable last year. Uh, so yeah, sometime last year. Um, it's telling me what will now convert your PDF to an editable. Okay, I didn't read this yesterday. This may take a while. The resulting Word document will be optimized to allow you to edit the text. So it might not look exactly like the original PDF especially if the original file contained lots of graphics. Okay, I think I'm fine with that. I can live with that. So I say, okay. Oh, it worked. Oh, I thought this was not working anymore. So you open it in, in, in Word first like this, and it brings it in. So first step is I opened my Word uh, document, came to file, and because I've, it's one of my most recent that I have opened, it's right there. Opened it, read that um, that uh, box, that dialog box, and it's brought it in for me. But we want it in Excel. So this is where it's now easy to copy from, uh, to do a copy and paste actually, from Word to Excel, and we'll get the format that we want. So I'm picking all of it. I'll control C that, then I'll come back to that um, to that Excel. Let, let me paste it somewhere here. I'll control V that. And this is what I've got. So does that look like something we can live with at, at least? What do we think about this method? Uh, this is actually interesting, honestly. <laughs> I think it did. Of just copying from PDF, it just distorted everything. But this is this is good. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so we open it in Word, and the, I tell you, this was something I I once paid for. They say ignorance is is really, really? not nice. Yes, I have paid for for my. Oh uh, my God. PDF. That was maybe two years ago. Or so for my PDF to be converted to Word, actually, not even to this, to Word for me. You know, and I, I searched everywhere. I couldn't really find how to do it by myself then, so I had to pay for it. And when I learned this, I thought, oh, is it that simple? Mm. <laughs> Very funny, is it that simple? But yes, yeah, sometimes things won't happen at work the way we are used to. Not even sometimes, mm. most yeah. of the time, it is not always straightforward. Imagine being thrown a PDF file to, to work with as a data analyst. And the mindset of people around you as a data analyst is you are, you are a miracle worker. You, you have to sort, sort something out, you know? And this is when you then start going on YouTube, chat GPT, which is one of my best friends, you know? <laughs> I love chat a lot. As you can see, I often chat earlier before to just see how I can structure this. This um, chat is, is, a, is a darling friend. Yeah. Very the good. darling friend it is, yes. As long as you, you give it the right context. So yeah, I'm not this, and I'm, I'm, my role is this, this. And the company I'm working for is this. This is the department. 
This is what we use. Now I've been asked to do this, this, this. This is what I've done so far. What do you think I should do next? So you, you just give it a good context of, so that it can reason the way you want it to reason and mm -hmm. get very close yeah. to your answer, if not the exact answer, you know? So, so that is one, one skill that, that might, be, might prove useful someday. Um, you know, did I insert, I wanted to, to remove that. I wanted to delete that uh, top bit. Now we've got this. Let's look at this data. Is there anything, any way, oh, what am I doing? Somebody help me. Is it uh, too much tiredness? Okay, mm -hmm. I wanted to get rid of. So I'm deleting the row, that top row. Uh, yeah, I did say, that's how to delete for those of us who don't, who, who don't know. If I wanted to insert a row here, I just need to bring my cursor to this point, click on there and right click and insert. That gives me an extra row, you know, but because I, I just wanted to delete, I do the same thing and I come right click and I delete that off so that I've got that. Now I want, the top bit to be seen as my header. There is a few things I could do. You know, any suggestions? I want to be able to filter. Can make it bold. Okay. So let's make it bold. So I'm just clicking down, highlighting these top bits. Yes. Did I pick all of it? Start again. Highlight mm -hmm. all of that, and I'll come to under home. We have bold there, so let's make that bold. Will you click control. Are you click control B? Okay, control B too. I've never used control B, but that sounds like something that must work. You know, it, it, knowing shortcuts in Excel saves a lot of time. Imagine the time to do all of what I did now, and just between that and. Comparing that to just control B, that's faster. If you don't like this, the font you are working in, I, I like Arial a lot. So I can easily just uh, change that to Arial. And if you want to change the size of it, why not? You know, change it to whatever works for you. If you want to change the color of the font, we do that here. You know, um, say I, I want that. And if it's the background I don't want anymore, and I just want it to be yellow for some reason, I can do that, you know, just like we, we have in most Microsoft, uh, Microsoft products. But right now, I want to be able to filter so that if I, if I press the filter, I can, you know, just look through what, what's happening here without having to scroll down all the time. So I've highlighted that bit. Two, two ways that can be done. I can go under data and press this filter here. Did we see what just happened? This appeared. So that way I can look through in 2014 that happened. So this is all about 2014, some months in 2014, basically. It's telling me here that I've got some blanks. So I'm going to select all and look at the blank, see how that affects me. Okay, so this is not blank. There's dates there. Why is it being picked as blank? You see, this is where we start to investigate. Maybe those ones are not really appearing to it as date. Okay, and remember we've not even checked through data type for this particular table anyway. Okay, so when we, when you, you know, when we converted, there is the likelihood of needing to really uh, clean up the data because a lot could have been modeled, could have been modeled up. Let's go under home and see what this is being seen as. Okay, that is being seen as date. Okay. If I go back to where it says blank, let's see why it's what it's seeing it as. Is this seeing it as date? Okay, actually it's picking it as date. Well, I've got blanks there for some reason. 
Okay, is that there a space? Maybe there is space somewhere. So sometimes if there is space, okay. Would you say blank if there is space? Uh, no, it won't say blank if there is space. Uh, you mean space after or after the word, after the letter? Is that what you mean? Uh, you, you know when spaces appear, you have to you have to trim it. You know you have to use yes. it. Yes. Uh, if that was the case, it wouldn't be appearing as blank. As blank. Okay. Yes. Yes, and I'm glad you said something about uh, uh, trim. Now that is also let's let's do date here for just to, and um, I'll do short dates. Okay, just to be sure that everything speaks as dates there. Uh, what data type should we change ebook to? This ebook. Uh, yeah. Which of the data types? This is, uh, Debbie. Yes. Look at that 14. There's a space in there. Is, is that what is uh, throwing everything up? Let's see. Maybe the, the format. Oh, you mean because it's aligned? Yeah, it's not aligned. It's not well aligned. It's not well aligned. I'm glad you picked that. It's saying it as dates, you know. Can you, can you, yeah, go on. Can you click the, the C? Click the C then. Go to like um on this home page yes mm -hmm. then then put it to the side to the side so one. let's yeah. align it so everything will, everything should align the same way yeah. right so again let's quickly look at aligning i'm glad we got to that so if you want your your um, data to align left you want to do that date should not be going left so there's a way you see your data where number there's a way uh, excel uh, arranges number and dates. Numbers and dates are supposed to be aligned right. Like you can see on that price here, because this is seen as number, it is aligned right. So date should also be aligned right, not left, as I've done it now. So I'm going to put it back right. If I wanted it to be centered, center there, just like we know, but this is the right way for date. Now, all of them are looking better. And presentation is part of uh, your job as a data analyst, you know? So the fact that one is not uh, going to Yaba and the other is going to Igbo, that, that makes it really easily readable. Now, text are aligned left, and this is text. Most of the time, text uh, fields are left as general because it doesn't affect them. But if you want, you can decide to come here, change it to, to text. So, and then price. Now price is seen as general here. I don't want my price to be seen as general. You know, I want it to be seen as proper number. So I'm going to- what Currenc should we do? Our Currency. Should we do currency? Yes. Our accounting, accounting. We can. Currency captures the essence of this most. Um, except you are doing, if, except you have the mindset mindset of what particular currency you're working on. Okay, how do you mean, sir? I mean, if you are if if you are if you are sure of the particular currency your work your data is coming mm. with, for mm. instance, you're working only in pounds. Mm. So that that might anyway. It depends. Definitely, you should be working on the on a on a fixed um, currency. Yeah. Okay, so say I want I don't want pounds. Is is uh, is by default bringing pounds. Say I want I don't want pounds. I want to change this to dollars or something. Um, how do I do that? Yeah, you can get that done in formatting. Okay, uh, where's formatting? Let's move this can, a little you, out of the way. You can write. You okay, I write, see what you mean. When you select select, you can right right click so, on it or something. Right click, and um, then format. format cell. Format. That's the thing. Yes. If we do format cell, it will format the cell itself. But we just want it to format mm -hmm. the the values. Um, it, there used to be format uh, value itself somewhere. One just needs. Okay, to you you want you want to change the the currency sign, right? Yes. Yeah, I think you should be able to find it under accounting. The under accounting should account. give you that. Okay. 
let's see what do they yeah here look at this tiny thing here if we if we do the drop down it's giving us more option and you are right more accounting so it's under accounting you know so if if it's the pounds you want if it's the dollars you want if it's the euro and if it's more let's see what's under more you know okay so under more it's highlighted accounting because that's how we got here it's telling us how many dec decimal places at the moment is two so we've got two there if i don't want any decimal places i can either i can reduce and and re remove it totally if i do that you know and i can pick uh, a few more let's look at a few more options here okay loads of currencies there's lots of currencies so we are not limited well how we how we got there so if let me okay this and see what what the changes done so far has done okay did we see what just happened because i removed the decimal places it's just automatically uh, approximated rounded up it's rounded up what we what we had there say okay no i don't want this to be rounded up i want um, the actual um i want the actual number okay so i want my decimal place back in there i'm going to yeah it's put the two so i'm going to maintain my two decimal places and do that and here we are so you can work the way you really want whatever it is to come out you know and there we we've got name which is okay to be left as general text if you want and we've got address here. There's a few things you can do with address. You can decide to maybe bring the postcode part out so that postcode is is got his own column. You know, yes, you can. Uh, that's that's exactly what I wanted to ask. Now, how can you separate that? You see that you have that address. Sorry for cutting in. Sorry. No, 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 I no, no. Just, please. Uh, no, curious. I want you to be interactive. Yeah. Don't don't uh, be sorry, please. Yeah. Yes. Sorry, because <laughs> now once you have like different, uh, will I say, parameters inside one column and you want mm. to bring it out to the next column, mm. like separating the values here. Yeah. Now, that's one thing I'm, I was curious about and I wanted to ask that like you just said, uh, you just yeah. brought out. So like, let's say we want to remove the postcode and put it on his own column now. Mm. Sorry, yeah. Okay, so let's see, how can we do that? Any suggestions uh, from anybody? I don't know. Yeah, I think it says you might if the data is very large, if you have a lot of um maybe a lot of um input that might be difficult to start cleaning up one by one. But the best the best way will be to just clean it. You have to do it one by one. You copy the whole you, you can duplicate that uh, purchase address okay. and cry out the ones you don't want. Right. That would be what I would do. But if you have the the, the, if the data is very large, mm. that would be a serious, it, it would take you forever. forever that might yeah. be the best. That would be the only, for me, that's the only thing that I think I know. Shouldn't there be a formula? There's a way to it. There's a, there's there's a formula. Different ways. I don't know that I've done this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's I've done different this ways. Please, I, I please can't remember how, to, but there's a way I want to, to know. Okay. Mm. Okay. Let's quickly, uh, because of our time, let's quickly use a few minutes and, and talk about a few ways here. I've highlighted this. There's something we call text to column, which in Power BI, we know, we know it as split to column, where we can split uh, one column to however we want to, to do it. So let's click on this text to column. It brings this box, convert text to columns, blah, 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 all of that. And we let it know that this data is delimited. Delimited means it's separated by some characters, which could be space. In this case, I'm targeting this slash. The slash. Yeah. Okay. So let's mm -hmm. see how that works. Okay. So the next screen is saying, is that del delimiters tab, semicolon, mm -hmm. comma, space. I'll say other because um, I don't think I want that tab. I'll say it's other and it's this, the other I put here. In Power BI, we, we would have done custom. 
and put this in. If we remember that uh, what we what we've done, can you see what is done now? He sort of yes. recognized yes. that that's yeah. what I want out of the way, out and it's, the, yeah. and we can see the data preview of, of what our answers would have wow. would be. If Sweet. I don't want that, if I want to separate from, if all of them have hash, and yeah. I want to separate from hash, let's see what hash would be. Where's my hash button? Um, forgotten where hash is. Is after zero on top. Okay. Nine zero. Uh, mine's below backspace. Here we go. Oh, okay. So there we go. Can we see that it's separated from where hash is? Hash, but yeah. And if I decide that it's space I want to do, okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm not putting order, the space option here. I want mm -hmm. space. So okay. everywhere it has found space. Yes, it's after wrong. eight. After Mark, uh, Mark oh. author, after oh. Lane, you know, it has gone on to split everything with space. If that was my intention, that would have been the best option. But let's yeah. go back to our, um, uh, that one. Yeah. Because that's what we want. Then we, so we say next. Okay. Um, no, we don't need any, anything doing here. We say finish. Okay. Beautiful. And here we go. Hmm. And here we go. Wow, this is Beautiful. this is awesome. You see, you see data is so becoming <laughs> it's becoming interesting. Yeah, it, it will get what? very interesting. Very and we will get to some 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 ones that will give that will show us paper. You I'm know? telling you, yeah. uh, if we will get there, but uh it's part of is the showing us paper that makes it interesting to me. To yeah, be honest, yeah. when you so are that was for text to column, isn't one, it? Yes, it's on that data. Is, it's on that data three. there. Hmm. And it's called text to, text column. to column. Yeah. And you can use it to yeah. separate as much separate, as possible yeah. what you want, you know. And we can put uh, what's it called? Um filter on here as well on oh, that part. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that yeah. Part you filter, as, yeah, whatever you as want. well. Um yeah. you can you can put all this bold outline, you know, we'll mm. learn all of that in our subsequent mm. classes. Yeah. Now, this is yeah. just yeah. One, method. one is missed, one is missing. Uh, because it doesn't one. have it. Mm. No, because it doesn't one. have. There's another one under it. Six hundred and thirty. Six zero zero three five. Row eighteen. Row eighteen. Water leak. Row eighteen. Maybe because there was no. Eighteen yes. water leak. The mm. top one. The top one. Yeah, six hundred. Yeah, 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 okay. I so don't know what happened. Six hundred. Yes, this is what you see. This is where data cleaning is important. If that was picked earlier. This 6,003 would have been on but top here top. with the on rest, with 18, because that got separated, that line mm. got separated, and that wasn't dealt with. So yes, uh, cleaning data, looking looking through everything into like in details is really important so that you don't have to come back after doing so much work to come back and be dealing with what could have been dealt with earlier, you know? So I'll save this. Uh, if we can also try and practice, I'll send this video, uh, this recording uh, down so that we, we are all on the same page. If you mm -hmm. have managed to solve any more problem on, on here, because there's quite a lot to be honest uh, that we can solve, we can all bring it to, uh, I won't be around tomorrow. Let me stop recording. Uh, stop sharing and Thank you.